What's up, y'all? It's your boy MCO Center Square Josh, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some Transformers news that, in my opinion, is disappointing. So, recently, the Transformers producer Lorenzo D. Bontier was sat down and interviewed and talked about the future of Transformers movies. And he said stuff as, We will be getting a Bumblebee sequel. And there will be a sequel to, get this, The Transformers The Last Night. Yes, we will be getting Transformers 6. Now, you already know the title of this video. The title is Lorenzo D. Bontier Needs to be Kicked. Now, here's why. Lorenzo D. Bontier needs to be kicked because I feel a lot of other Transformers... Well, let's just get one thing straight. The Transformers community is very frustrated with how the Transformers movies have been going along, how they've been handled, how they've been managed, how news is getting pushed out in and out and things are getting confirmed and deconfirmed and reports are conflicting conflicting with each other. And it all starts with the Transformers producer Lorenzo D. Bontier, who personally I'm not really a big fan of and the news that he dropped really doesn't help me like him anymore and it's not helping him in popularity with the Transformers community and Lorenzo D. Bontier basically said that yo Optimus Prime solo movie done we're not making it Beast Wars not making it mind you when Bumblebee came out he's promised all this stuff he said Hey, if Bumblebee comes out, is successful, it's a lot of money, you make our profit, you're getting a Beast Wars movie, you're getting an Optimus Prime solo movie, and an Avengers-style Transformers movie. All great sounding things, right? You know, I reported last time that Bumblebee is a reboot, and we will be following the, in the footsteps of what Travis Knight left us. But, if that's the case, why are we getting Transformers 6? I'm these reports are conflicting like he says stuff but doesn't follow through with it like a couple I think it was like a couple weeks ago he was asked about Beast Wars and he said well to make Beast Wars we'd have to have a pretty big budget and you know I don't think we'll be able to make it what the freak do you say you're gonna make Beast Wars if Bumblebee is successful those were your exact words were you bait and switching us were you lying this whole entire time just to make Bumblebee profitable? If that's so, that's disgusting. You're giving us, the Transformers fans, the people who love Transformers like me, this community so freaking hyped for these things you promised us, and you're not following through on any of it. And like I said, Bumblebee is one of, was one of my favorite movies of 2018. Can't wait to purchase the DVD Steelbook edition of Bumblebee. Really excited on that. But it's like you keep promising this and that and you just not following through. Like an Optimus Prime movie, yo, this is why I really hate uh, Lorenzo on. He keeps on saying that the Optimus Prime movie is gonna be so difficult. Optimus is like Obi-Wan Kenobi. You can't really make a movie about Optimus Prime. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? You're that's the dumbest come I've ever heard. Optimus and Prime and Obi-Wan Kenobi are not one of the same. Obi-Wan is a little more difficult, I will admit. Optimus is so much easier to do. Like, there's so much you could do with Optimus Prime in a span of a solo movie. Like, you could go into his origin of when he was a Ryan Pax. That has never been done in the live action movies ever. We've never seen him go from, you know, this original old bland old, you know, custodian in a library to this great leader of the Autobots, fearless, courageous leader of the Autobots as we know today as Optimus Prime. We've never seen that story of how, you know, rich and in-depth his history is. We could explore so many facets of the Transformers universe with the Optimus Prime solo movie. It's not that difficult. You have Hasbro, you have, you have comics, you have TV shows, you have video games, you have Shoot, sometimes you're giving these toy storylines on Optimus Prime. It's not that difficult to find information on Optimus Prime and to make a movie about Optimus Prime. It's not that hard. And I don't understand why Lorenzo D. Bontier has this thing in his head where he's like, Optimus Prime is difficult. You can't make it. Bro, yes, you can. It's not that hard. It's just like, it, what's, what's so difficult? Man, he needs to go, bro. 
I'm serious. Like, thinking about it just makes, gets me so heated. Like, it really does because it's not that difficult. And you just keep promising this fandom so many false hopes. You keep throwing things out there and you're not doing any of it. You just, whenever you talk, I always expect something bad. Like, I really do. Like, you never follow through on anything. Bumblebee's supposed to be a reboot, which is a lie because you're making Transformers 6. Even if, yo, forget the part about Bumblebee being a reboot. He said, I want to say a couple months before the release of Bumblebee, that, hey, we're not making Transformers 6. We're not, we're not continuing with the, that. Transformers the last night was the last Michael Bay movie. We're done. We're not making it. Which kind of gave credence to Bumblebee being a reboot, but you know, he said, well, Bumblebee's not really a reboot, you know, eh. but then Hasbro said it's a reboot, but then we're making Transformers 6, and these reports are so confusing and conflicting, it's so annoying that you keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and promising us this and that and the third, and not following through on any of it. The Rons of here is such a trash producer, bro. Man, get rid of this fool, bro. Get, bro, get him out of here. Man, bro, y'all can really just keep him away from interviews, bro, because I'm tired of listening to him speak. Me and a lot of other people in the Transformers community are sick and tired of his bullcrap and just want him gone. And I'm finally on there where, like, yeah, bro, your time here as a Transformers producer is done. Stop it. Get out. I'm done. But that's all I had to say. Man, bro, I'm just so mad that... Optimus Prime solo movie is cancelled? Bro, do you know how much cool crap you could do in that movie? But I guess not. That freak of Lorenzo D. Bont here. Paramount. I know you're not listening, but kick him out. Fire him. Do whatever you have to do. He is the Kathleen Kennedy. No, he's worse than Kathleen Kennedy. He's just so bad because he doesn't know what to do. He's just throwing out bullcrap and lying his butt off and saying this, that, and the third and not following through on any of it and just conflicting reports with official Hasbro and it's just like, I don't I don't know what to think anymore. So man, that's all I had to say. Leave a comment in the comments down below. Are you disappointed in Transformers and Beast Wars getting canceled? Both movies that we were promised that Bumblebee did successful and yes, Bumblebee was successful and they did make profit back on that film. Man, bro. Put in the comments down below if you agree with me and Lorenzo should be kicked. And yeah, hope you have a great day. And I'm out. Peace.